Hi everyone, this is video two in my Sewing for Santa Jabot series. If you have not seen video one, I'll leave the link at the top. And then um, that one was uh, how to sew a Jabot using two layers of fabric and why I did that. And then this one is making a Jabot with a single layer. And then the last video will be about the neckbands. And it's not so much how to make them as much as it is um, working through my thought process and why I make the decisions I do because I'm not really the willy-nilly type person as far as why I make a decision which is why it takes me so long to make a decision because I have to have a specific reason why I do what I do or what's the point so um, this is a shorter video than the last one uh, the previous one and then the one that comes next will probably be kind of a long one so thank you for clicking on this video let's get started in an effort to save money and time um, and make the production of these things uh, faster and easier I decided to go with one layer of fabric and um, on this here because I didn't want to show when I'm using a narrow lace like, like that I didn't want to show a surged edge with the edge of my um, lace so this is what I decided to do and I really like this option the lace I'm using is a two-edged lace so it's it's decorative on both sides so this is going to be the part that hangs from the jabot and this part gets sewn to it you might ask why would I go through this with the shorter lace and not just a longer lace when I'm doing a job like this um, or any job actually if you can use the same process and it's easy uh, for both then that would be the way to go you don't want to have so many different processes in your job so if it was a short lace use this method here and if it's a longer lace you don't have to do it you can do it with a surged edge I try to keep everything the same so that I'm not wasting so much time thinking about what I'm supposed to be doing it can just be automatic The key here is to make sure that your lace stays um, a little away from the edge of the fabric. The fabric should not come out from underneath the lace. Now before I had to stop the lace right where it folded, I don't have to do that here. So I'm just going to keep going. From here, I'm just going to cut the lace right up along that, that straight edge. And then from here, you would go to the iron and you would press this up so what you see is just a pretty decorative edge and uh, because the fabric is white that raw edge will blend with the rest of the, the jabot and here you just fold it tuck this in and then obviously getting rid of all your raw edges there and you can sew that down now this you can press it up it will not come back down also because you will be pressing it uh, folding and pressing um, so that won't come down I am going to run over and press this all down and I'll be back. Okay, so I have the edges um, pressed up 
and in. Now we just need to get these two long edges sewn. Now when doing this, what makes this nice is I can cut out all the jabots, then go back and sew all the laces on. Don't pre-cut the lace, I just leave, them, leave it all in one piece. That way I have less waste. I sew it on, cut it off at the end, and then do the next one. One thing I don't worry about is which side of the fabric I'm doing it on um, because the fabric I have doesn't have a right or wrong side. And it doesn't really matter if your jabot starts folding on the left side as opposed to the right. It's To me, it's just another little bit of variety. So you fold it and this is what it looks like. Don't forget to clean up your threads. And like I said, if you use the same steps for every single one, it doesn't matter if it's long lace or short lace, if you can get the double edged lace where it's decorative on both sides. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks, bye.